Hello, how are you doing? So this is Mindset for Creatives. My name is Jean Collins, and I am here with some guests who are just enjoying all of and excited to learn about the mind, how to be aware of the emotional wellness, right? Because each organ is connected to both a positive, so a face or a love-based emotion, and then also a negative in a fear-based emotion. With all of this, we really just have to recognize our emotional well-being and really pay attention to how we're feeling. But the cool thing is that there are tools to help you flip from one side to the other, usually from fear to faith, right? Like I know for myself, if I am working on something, if I've been chaotic or frustrated or annoyed, it does not work out. So I have realized like yesterday, <laughs> I was a little under the weather and or figuring out some things and my body wasn't really functioning as it should. So I was like, okay, I need to take the time. I used my oils to help me figure out and, and supplements, enzymes are super important help me figure out and rebalance out to get focused and recover so I could enjoy my life and get more things done. I think we're all here to enjoy life, right? It's just such an uh, important thing. And um, when we do have those back and forth, right, we do have an experience that might, that might just seem like it's negative, but really everything just is. Uh, and it does help propel us to the next step, right? If we don't like what, what's happening, then we can change it. We can recognize and see what we need to have on. So I'm gonna go over some oils, but also um, this beautiful stick man. So this stick man is great. Um, it's from Bob Proctor. So some of the stuff of the conscious mind and the subconscious mind and the body, right? So that's pretty much our conscious mind is our thinking mind and our subconscious mind is our emotional mind, but it's also the paradigm and our self-image. The conscious mind only, uh, the conscious mind you can accept or reject. It's our thinking mind, right? We literally can think thoughts and um, we can be like, wait, no, that doesn't align with where I'm going and we can reject it. The subconscious mind can only accept. So it's going to accept whatever we give it. Um, and whatever we wrap emotion around, this is like also our emotional state. So we really like, so that's, that's in the, in the case of like, when someone can say, oh, I'm happy, but they're really like feeling disgusted or angry, right? Like if they're, if those two aren't in harmony, then the body is going to have a certain reaction. So really our thought process, um, goes uh, and it's it's very interesting this is all from back in the day um so that's a little bit about that i'll jump back into that in a second i want to share a little bit of my why and how i got started and what i love about where one yesterday was <laughs> totally i was like this is not on my list to not be feeling well <laughs> or to be like it was, it's really was my pituitary gland and possibly also digestive because everything is connected and it is this beautiful masterpiece of a body that we have. And this is why I believe it's so important to really pay attention to the, to your body and the signs it's giving. And it does come times, uh, it's a little bit detective work, right? Figuring it out and doing the things to make it happen. So through my childhood, I used to be constantly sick with a sinus infection, flu, pneumonia, bronchitis, repeat, literally all the time. Um, then at an early age, I developed um, what acne, right? But then eventually it pretty much became pizza face acne, like all over my face. And that does not do well with confidence, right? It's just, <laughs> no. So um, that happened. Uh, and through my mom had already been using a lot of supplements and herbs and tinctures and homeopathics, and it just didn't really work at the time. 
but my little brother was starting to have night terrors and her friend has sent her specifically oils from Young Living and they worked. He literally was calmed down and he slept for hours. And then in the morning, my mom had looked up and was like, well, what's the difference? Like I've already been using essential oils because she had, um, and literally it's our farms. We have over 17 farms internationally and we have this beautiful seed to seal process. Um, and it's just literally life-changing. I've been on the Mona Utah farm pretty much every year for convention that they've had it in Salt Lake. And I've gotten to plant lavender, yarrow, helichrysum, one of the chamomiles, I can't remember if it was German or Roman. Um, and it's just such a cool thing to, to know that we have farms. So this is like the difference, the quality difference with Young Living is our seed to seal. Um, and I just love it. It's literally changed my life. And we have so many other products. Uh, we have our beautiful mink shred. We have prebiotics and probiotics. We have personal care products and all the things. But today we are going to talk more about mindset. I will say that a lot of our personal care products, I would encourage everyone to upgrade in some way, shape, or form. There's also, um, you're already purchasing those products, shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, mouthwash, right? You're already doing it. Uh, you can receive some credit back for free products. There's a whole thing. But the other way and why it's important and why you might be like, okay, we're talking about mindset. A lot of those products are endocrine disruptors. They're hormone disruptors. They're messing with how our body functions. We don't want that. If you want to have a really good mentality, a really good mindset, you have to make sure that you're surrounding yourself with quality products, quality people, right? That's just such an important thing because everything affects everything. Earlier, before I hit record, I was mentioning with one of the guests the importance of how everything is connected. And she had asked, uh, and I saw that question of like, how did I understand it was the pituitary gland? Um, trial and error, and also this beautiful book, which is part of what I um, used. So it was Ultimate Balance by Leanne Deirdrift. That was what I used. And it was actually really funny because I first went to, what I like about this book is it talks about the time of day, right? And um, everything is connected. So you have opposite organs, uh, and I, when I'm in a state of uh, disease, which disease is really the body out of balance. So at any level, that's what disease is, is the body out of balance. But over time, it can become these major diseases because we're not paying attention. And like I said, each organ is connected to the opposite organ, right? So I was going through and looking at the small intestines and the large intestines, because it kind of seemed like at the time it was a digestive issue. And then I realized when I got home, I had left the book open up to this page, pituitary. This is the pituitary. And I was like 9 p.m., 11 p.m. I'm like, that's pretty close. But the opposite organ is the spleen uh, and the pancreas, but also the thyroid, right? Sometimes there's triplets and that's just, it's a whole thing. Um, but literally that's what it talks about in the book is the opposite organs. And like, I think you can see that, right? Yeah. So, so this is the point of when, usually I can intuitively figure it out. And it was funny I, when I looked at the solutions I was already kind of intuitively figuring it out, but it's good for me to know so that I can empower and help other people and tell my story. So the thyroid and both the pituitary gland are from nine to nine to 11 PM. So also looking at the spleen and realizing that is 9 AM to 11. And that's kind of when I was started to have closer to 11 um, when I started to like have an issue. But the opposite of organ of the spleen is the pituitary, the thyroid, and the adrenals. So I'm really supporting three, three beautiful organs. And 
they all have pretty much the same exact solutions, a little bit different for the adrenals. Um, but that's a little bit about everything. And when you're not feeling good, your mindset is off. You cannot truly complete a task. That's another reason why I also was like, okay, I need to focus. I need to figure out what this is. I need to lay down. I need to be, I used, um, Alkaline, because I thought it was a stomach thing, but also alkaline is really good for balancing and supporting your natural pH in your stomach, right? There's a curse, there's a beautiful way that your stomach has to be balanced. So that's what I started with to help me. I was also using our Young Living Vitality Drops, electrolytes, to help make sure that I was absorbing my water um, as well. So everything is connected. Now back to oils and how, um, and one of these oils is Valor to help with this, the pituitary gland and the thyroid is Valor. And Valor, I'm starting with Valor because it's our courage oil. And even though I know uh, the people on the Zoom and many of you who watch, it's always good to just have a little extra courage. And then Valor is our balancing. So balancing the systems. You must believe yesterday when I was out of balance, I was using some Valor and um, other oils as I continue. And when we are creating any sort of space or any sort of project, we do want to have that balance, that courage to really express who we truly are. Because during, so kind of going back to our beautiful images, right? And how our mind works. During our life, when we were a child, there is a paradigm that was formed. And the paradigm is from other people's thoughts, actions, their words, their what, what you're seeing, what you're hearing, it's the five senses. And so maybe someone was saying like, well, why do you wanna do that? Or you can't do that, you're not worthy whatever those negative thoughts were, and you could have emotionalized with it. Well, that's stuck in your paradigm. And you're like, okay, well, that's me as an infinite, right? But a lot of people today, they do the same thing. They really don't take it back and think about what it is that someone just said to them. Because remember, I'm gonna, in the conscious mind, right? This is our intellectual mind. The conscious mind is the intellectual, it's the thinking mind. The subconscious, is the universal mind or the paradigm or the self-image. It is our accepting. We, um, we accept it and that creates a new program, a new paradigm. So paradigm and program are the same. Um, and then whatever we're, so that's why like, you know, you probably know at least one, if not five people that you're like, they're brilliant, but the results that they're getting are not successful. How are they so smart and they have degrees coming out of the yin yang, but the results just don't show that. It goes back to the self image, the paradigm, what they truly emotionalize with. The cool thing though is you can change it at any point in time. It does take the mindset and the work. So that is where I tap into the oils and really understanding the body and how the body works and um, what and what the signs are that our body gives us. So that was like, that was me yesterday, figuring out the mystery of the body and going through the small intestines to the large intestines, thinking it was my digestive, which hormones do play a role in digestive health. It, it's all beautifully and majorly connected. And we're still discovering more about the body and the brain every single day. But I really do love this concept of the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and the body, and really recognizing that you can change your programming and your paradigm, and it's a possibility. And I use oils to help me with that. Okay, so valor is our balance, but if we're having a fear of conflict, the opposite of that is peace. So with valor, right, you saw me drop, I'll just do another drop, that's fine. Uh, you can take a drop of Valor, just apply it. When I am wanting to do a sense tent, I will put Valor on my hands. 
and breathing in, right? Just cut, create a little tent and breathing in, breathing in and out a few times. And I, you can use an affirmation like I am at peace because the opposite of fear of conflict is peace, right? That is really our truth is that we can be at peace with everything and anything going on around us. Again, everything just is, right? It just is. We have to get to that place of getting it to neutral so we can really attack or we can really solve the problem, right? We have to be aware of the problem, but we want to be able to solve it. And so you can use that affirmation of I am at peace. Now, maybe you're still like in the thralls of whatever you've taken a few minutes and your next option could be lavender. And this is all from the pituitary gland. So the pituitary gland also, the season is early summer. Literally summer equinox is in a day, two days, something like that. Two, it's tomorrow, it's tomorrow. Okay, cool, thank you. Yeah, so it's in a day. Um, the meridian is the triple warmer. And the triple warmer is your, let me see, it's the adrenal, oh no, yeah, adrenals, thyroid, and pituitary. So those three all work together. Remember earlier how I mentioned uh, the recognition of the pituitary and thyroid being similar, the adrenals being a little different of uh, solutions for them, but still have some overlap. And that's the cool thing I think with essential oils is there are solutions and sometimes there are multiple solutions. And at any point in time, you have to figure out which one is currently right for you. Sometimes I do layering. So um, lavender, yesterday, I literally was at a point and I feel comfortable enough. Usually I do put essential oils in my water, right? And you can with the Vitality line. The thing with the Vitality line and a color label is there's no difference. It's the same quality because again, our beautiful seed to seal process and Young Living is all about quality. So I literally took a few drops of lavender because I was at the point of like, I need relief like ASAP. And I like then drank my water. Because as much as I love um, lavender, I usually do prefer, prefer to drink like orange or lemon. So but I was just at a state of like, let's try lavender. And I just put a few drops in my mouth. And obviously I'm here. It's beautiful and amazing. But lavender is also another calming oil. But if you are in a state, a state so like the pituitary gland, the negative emotions are stuck in a box. That's one negative emotion. So if you're feeling stuck in a box, the opposite of that is to move forward, right? We want to move forward. We, uh, again, going back to the mind, right? In our beautiful body, we can create our own prison in our conscious mind by what we're thinking and, and also in our subconscious by what we accept as truth. But if it's no, if it's not serving you, do not accept it. Someone can tell you the worst news, or actually, recently, a couple of weeks ago, someone was trying to tell me <laughs> who I was, <laughs> which was not in alignment, and it was not me at all. So I rejected it. I didn't tell that person because just of consciousness and just all the things. But I just knew, like, this isn't me. I don't know. Or, or if it was, I'm like, that's a really off perception. Either way. So moving forward, lavender. Let's, you can use the affirmation, I speak my truth, right? I speak my truth is an option with lavender to, to support the pituitary gland and the thyroid, right? So this is all just a beautiful and amazing way to support your body. Lavender is also really good for sinus support. And having past sinus issues, that's another reason why I also gravitated towards it. Because I was like, okay, my sinuses were a little congested. It's so interesting. Like sometimes it is multiple things at once. 
because again, the body works in this beautiful, mysterious way. We have triplets, we have twins. So this is the opposite organs or the twins are when our body will pull energy from the other organ to help support. This is why for 9 a.m. to 11 p.m., right, for the pituitary, the adrenals are, um, or the spleen is 9 a.m. Okay, pituitary is 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. The spleen is 9 a.m. to 11. So that's why you have to look at the, the couple of organs and see what's up. So the next awesome essential oil is frankincense. And many of you know, frankincense is amazing for your skin. It helps just youthful skin. But frankincense is really your friend. <laughs> Seriously. That's how, that's how I'm like, frankincense is my friend. Lavender is a great go-to and it is one of my go-tos if I don't really know. Um, because lavender does have over 100 uses. But I recently I've been like, frankincense is my friend. Because frankincense has a, such a powerhouse to help with brain health, to help with the... Um, immune system to help with our muscles and also just the skin so I literally when I use frankincense and again this is kind of layering because I'm using it on my hand but I'm like I'll just apply it directly to my face delusion only for the most sensitive skin and speaking of delusion let's uh, pause for a second for those of you new to essential oils so diluting an essential oil is using a carrier oil like jojoba, almond, olive oil, coconut. That's diluting. And they do have different viscosities within those vegetable oils. Um, for me, there are some oils um, that I just uh, love to use topically directly, undiluted, neat as we say, just apply it neat. Um, the diluting, what happens when you're diluting an essential oil, and you should for things like clove or rosemary or oregano. Oregano is a really spicy oil. Like, so kind of think of like herbs, right? Frankincense is a tree oil. Most tree oils, you do not need to dilute unless for the most sensitive skin. I will say I used to have really sensitive skin. I've never had a problem with essential oils. I have sensitive skin to toxins, and I do believe that most people do, but they're just not aware of it because I wasn't. I used to love all the perfume, and you can't even pay me enough to use that. I, I will not take it. <laughs> I will, like, run the other way. Anyways, so frankincense is really good. Um, it is amazing for brain health because of the active constituent sesquiterpene. So you're welcome to look that up. There is on Young Living some science, um, uh, scientific research. The cool thing with that is all recently Young Living is adding these scientific studies uh, to validify and more the what the ancients knew. I mean, this was given to baby Jesus. Okay, let's let's, let's represent. <laughs> Good, I got a laughter. <laughs> baby Jesus. And, and the reason why it was not just for youthful skin, also Cleopatra used this for her youthful skin. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> so, so frankincense is just such a beautiful oil to help with our mind. Gary Young used to use this throughout the day to help his mind be really creative because he felt that it did connect him to that higher power, to God, right? To universe. Um, and just helped him keep focused. Remember, brain health. And also, um, you can use this, right, with the affirmation, I stand up for myself. And think about the tree, right? This, all trees have this beautiful, they have their roots and their branches, and they uphold a mile, or, you know, they uphold the wind. And frankincense is just such a beautiful, holy essential oil. Um, there is definitely more science behind it, but that's pretty much the nutshell. Use it for your mental well-being, that mindset of like, I stand up for myself. I, I am proud of who I am, right? And then also, I like to put it on my skin because it's, it helps with uh, anti-wrinkles. It helps your skin look beautiful and glow. 
literally frankincense is my friend um this is why my skin looks as clear and people are like well do you have any like before and after pictures like what when was your face like this gross like pizza acne and I don't because I'd already used a particular product that was around at, I think it is still around at the time it worked for a few weeks but then it stopped working um because it was only topical and so also you have to understand the internal aspect and when you have things like acne it's really your body just giving you a sign to pay attention inside now uh, acne is also connected to gut health we need enzymes and prebiotics and probiotics young living has all of those things enzymes are super important also for brain health I was doubling, tripling. I was using enzymes a lot yesterday to get me back to a, a homeostasis. Um, okay, so, so peace and calming is a great oil that I recommend when diffusing for creativity, for calmness, because it is such a calming essential oil. I... I've noticed for myself, peace and calming is a blend. It has tangerine, orange, ylang ylang. Ylang ylang is a balancer, patchouli, and blue tansy. The blue tansy and the orange make it like this green color, which is like really cool. I don't know. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. It's so awesome. I mean, so um, I'm not I like, I, peace and calming. You might want to be careful if you're near white clothes. I usually would say, uh, but other than that, peace and calming is amazing. But that is what I use, right? My mind works perfectly. I am calm, right? I am, I am connected and moving forward with whatever. Or I can handle whatever is in front of me. I can handle this. I just need to take a moment. I'm going to do my sentence. I'm going to diffuse it, and it will be perfect. And so that is definitely like one of the things. The other thing that I was using quite a bit yesterday was Indoflex. And Indoflex is also one of the oils. It's actually the first one because Indoflex, Indocrine, right? Indo, so the Indoflex is a great blend of oils to help with your endocrine system. And you can use an affirmation of so again, I'm just layering oils on my hand right now. Uh, I will have a really amazing day today because I'm getting all the oils on. I, I, I see life in new ways, right? If you're stuck in a box or in, you have this inability to speak up, right? That's also connected to the pituitary gland is this inability to speak up for yourself. Too much or feeling out of control or humiliation. The opposite of all of that is moving forward, self-worth, and having and being in control. So Indoflex, you can use the affirmation, I, I can speak my truth. You can pick any affirmation though you want. But Indoflex is great for the hormones. It also has, um, so it has geranium in it. And geranium was another oil that also came up. I think it was for the digestive health, but it was funny that it was an oil that I kept gravitating towards. Um, and geranium is just such a beautiful oil for, again, the emotional wellness. I have it over here, yes. So it's really good for liver and pancreas. Um, so it helps to stimulate that. It also helps with uh, blood flow. And it also can kill cells that are foreign to the body, which is really cool. So geranium is an amazing essential oil. Um, I also like it as a perfume. It's really floral. So if you need, if you like florals and you need just that upliftedness, grab yourself some geranium. The other oil that's also in here that I wanted to highlight um, was nutmeg. Because nutmeg is also really good for the adrenals. And a lot of the time what's happening with the adrenal, like what uh, a reason why you might have some adrenal issues, if you're a type A person, you're always on the go. You have difficulty falling asleep. A slow start in the morning. 
you're keyed up and have trouble in calming down, like maybe someone told you a problem or um, high or low blood pressure, feeling wired, craving salty foods, asthma or wheezing, difficulty of breath. I also have a diagnosis of asthma, allergies, like really all of these things are just the body trying to give us a sign that we need to support specific organs more. And I can attest to that because I used to get sick all the time and now here I am pretty much always like, all right, let's do this. Or the fact that yesterday in less than 24 hours, I was able to support myself and be able to finish what I need, some of the things I needed to get done, prepare for this, right? All the things. But nutmeg, so if you are like, again, a negative emotion connected to the adrenals, and you would feel more tired from 9 to 11 p.m. Like, like I'm talking about you're fine, you're fine, and then all of a sudden you're just like, oh, I need to go lay down, like right now. Like I'm just done. Um, so sick and tired, control, defeatism, also type A personality. The positive emotions are energetic, lively, relaxed, surrender, and balance. So you can use like, I have balance of work and rest for nutmeg. You can also definitely just throw this in the diffuser. Like there none of the, all of these are diffuser worthy. Um, you can make a, a blend. Also, I re re remember that um, one of the guests wanted to know and talk about. So supplements and medications and essential oils and medications. Oils do not have issues with medications. There are a few cautions, like grapefruit oil um, is definitely a caution because it does come from, grapefruit is cold pressed from the rind. So I would just look to, to double check with your medications and um, also the find a doctor, right? That is really willing to support you in using more of a, holistic point of view, right? That's a, a huge case that, that will advocate. Um, but grapefruit and then wintergreen are um, wintergreen for blood thinners. If you are on blood thinners, which I don't believe this person is, but wintergreen uh, is, so wintergreen is how we got aspirin. Wintergreen helps thin out your blood naturally. Just a heads up on that point. Everything um, comes from nature. The, the thing with essential oils and like wintergreen coming from aspirin, they pulled out the active ingredient in wintergreen and took all the extras away and added extra fillers to make the pill. The interesting thing is, then there's all those side effects for pretty much most things. Therefore, I choose to use nature. Um, the only side effect I have experienced is more energy, more joy, happiness, <gasps> right? So at the end of the day, that's how like, I feel like everything in nature is here to support us. Yes, it also does look pretty. Geranium is a beautiful flower. Um, lavender is a great flower. Frankincense is a really cool looking tree. I love trees, but that's just a little bit of my take. Um, so I choose more natural. Now, obviously, if I'm in a serious incident, you best believe I'm taking my oils, I'm going to the hospital, <laughs> right? If I'm in an accident or something, but I always have oils on me and uh, that's just, or like if I, like if there's, if there's something sticking out of my body that should not be sticking out of my body, you must believe I'm going to go get cast and figure it out. But I know from another person's experience who has had that happen, she used her oils and her supplements and the cast came off quicker. So, okay. Um, lemongrass. If you're in resentment, 
the opposite of that is embracement. So embracing in the situation you're in, because remember, everything just is. If we really look at how our body, right? Like this is also a little bit of like the law of, so like you've probably heard of the law of attraction, but why does the law of attraction work for some and not for others? Because the law of attraction is a secondary law. It's really the law of vibration. So that goes back to our subconscious, our paradigm, what we are feeling. If we are feeling worthy, if we are feeling successful, if we are feeling joy, then that's what more will attract. Um, through my studies and continuously studying with Bob Proctor and doing basics I can and teaching all of this, I attract more joy and harmony because that's what I'm focused on. So again, it goes back to what are you thinking about? What are you focusing on? Um, because again, that, that body, the body moves into action and gets the results. So if you're not liking your results, you can also work this backwards. And again, use the oils to help you recognize what do I need more support with um, or listen to your body and help, help that. So you can use an affirmation with lemongrass, right? Take a drop of lemongrass. Um, lemongrass, if I'm just putting it on my hand to smell it, I do not need a carrier oil. Um, but like maybe the back of my knee, because lemongrass is also good for ligaments, I will need a hobo or coconut or something like that. So I am wanted, <clears throat> lovable, and I am whole lemongrass like if you're feeling resentment go to embracement and recognize that you are loved and you are wanted and you're whole and then bergamot is another uh, oil it's also a gift with purchase oil so that means it's free with an x amount uh, purchase if you're feeling neediness the opposite of that is bliss your alarm point is your hormones right a lot of these alarm points is our hormones or our thyroid or our pituitary gland or our adrenals. Um, so the opposite of neediness is bliss. I am blissful, just helping to support the hormones, which actually, because it is early summer and our pituitary gland and our adrenals and our like all of this needs support, I believe. I love that Young Living really thinks about us for all of these gifts with purchases and takes that into consideration. I believe lemongrass was another gift with purchase. I have to double check for those of you live. Um, and then another one that is, so I've talked about peppermint in a number of ways, but if peppermint you can use, if you feel like you're in failure, the opposite of that is enfoldment, remember, failure is just a way to pull out the lesson there's always a lesson in each thing and then you just rework the plan thomas edison is a great example of that and we talk about that a lot in basics and the mindset work that i do because he was already really famous and he couldn't figure out one of the battery storages and like in an interview one of the interviews said how does it feel to fail ten thousand times and he's like well i didn't fail ten thousand times this problem just has 10,000 steps. So peppermint, uh, I accept growth, right? And peppermint can also help you unleash uh, or un help you unblock any abundance issues. So if you're having abundance issues, try peppermint. It comes in the premium starter bundle and it's a great way. It's also good for occasional headache and occasional stomach issue, right? Speaking of stomach, I realized I didn't mention Digize, and I did want to mention Digize because it's another one that comes in the starter bundle, plus I was using it a lot yesterday, and it did really help me. Um, Digize can also help you if you are in the emotion of disillusion. If you're disillusioned, I mean, think about when we do have digestive problems. Uh, it's just like it gets us to this point of sometimes it can, we can be a little disillusioned. So the opposite of that would be like uh, using your imagination for success, right? Moving forward. So digest is also another one. It's just such an amazing thing. Uh, 
going jumping back to peace and calming also the alarm point for that is the thyroid i realized i didn't mention that uh if you're in an argumentative state the opposite of that is peace and i am fair is an affirmation with peace and calming so i am fair so that is in a nutshell what we are chatting about today um i'm here to kind of close this out, I hope you can see the value of these oils and having them on hand and using them throughout the day. The premium starter bundle is a great way to get started. Um, the best way is to add that on a loyalty and then jump next month. You can figure out and, or even this month, add some enzymes. Like I said, enzymes are so important. Mink Shred is another huge thing that I do. And then of course, pre and probiotics. There's a few different options. So that's where I'm here to help. Uh, there is a link below for those of you watching the YouTube to connect and grab your premium starter bundle. But I really hope you can see the benefits of using these every day, diffusing them, putting them on topically, right? And can you see how I educate and really like, these are my books, you guys. I got books. I really want to help you and your family feel empowered. And it's just, I know what it feels like to be sick all the time and just like do your best to enjoy life. But when you're really living on like 65 or 55% energy, that's just not, not good. So grab it the best way. Um, or just the good way is to start with the starter bundle. And then you have some great options and we can always just move forward from there. The cool thing with the loyalty or uh, order is you can change it every month. You can start and stop it and you get points back for free products. You also in the first year get free gifts. So I'm happy to reach, uh, reach out to you or reach out to me for the YouTube and chat more. Thanks so much, you guys. Bye-bye.